tutorial we will learn about the installation how to install IBM BPM tool okay so as you see there are two methods for the BPM installation one is the typical installation and another one is the custom installation so typical installation is very straightforward like uh, uh, you just need to have a BPM ins installation package and few mandatory details you need to provide like uh, say the path where you want to install BPM product then the users and along with that you have to provide the database details in typical installation by default we take DB2 database okay so in the typical installation once you do automatically a default node a default cluster and default server will be created for you we do not have the privilege to change these things so typical installation is quite good for development environment where uh, very easily we can set up the BPM environment and we can start developing the process application okay now let's talk about the custom installation so the custom installation is good in production environment where a uh, lot of load comes and in that it is advisable to have multiple clusters clustering is not possible in typical installation and custom installation will give us the opportunity to create different type of clusters we can create multiple servers inside the cluster we can choose what type of database we want so it gives us more flexibility to, ch to choose different different options okay so normally uh, administrator will be responsible for the installation job okay in this IBM BPM tutorial we will learn about the typical installation which is a, as I told it's quite a straightforward installation but we will see so here you can see uh, I have I these three packages BPM advanced uh, 8.5.7 version 1 2 and 3 what I did I just downloaded this package from IBM passport advantage site and after that I just unzip this package now what we need to do just go oh, go to the package so this is the second package and this is the third package and this is the first package the first thing what we need to do go inside each package and just copy the content inside the repository and paste it in the a single package this, which is the second package where you will see the setup file so you can go inside the repository and keep all the repository in one place the advantage of doing this thing is once you will start the installation process you do not you do not need to give the path for this package again so once you will do the installation job automatically it will fetch the package from this repository directory okay now the second thing is you this is the setup file just right click and run as an administrator so here you can see there are two options available for us typical installation and custom inst installation custom installation we will do using the installation manager okay fine so I don't want install process center because process designer where we are going to work it needs process center to run so we will install the process center next so this is the host name of this machine and this is the path where it is going to install the BPM product now uh, here you can give some two users so I am giving one user As shell admin and one user which is a deployment environment level I will give as a DE admin
okay so two users i created here shell admin and de admin and the name of the host and the in location where i am going to install this product next okay so here it it will ask you for about the database detail okay so here by default i want to install db2 database so there are two options here yes and no if the database is already installed db2 database you can select the yes option and you can provide the database detail okay and if it is not installed it will install database for you okay next option accept the license okay and install the software this process will take around one hour or sometime one and half hour so you can just leave it and uh, you can see the percentage over here so after some after one and half hour it will automatically install bpm in this environment we don't need to do anything so now the bpm is installed and we will verify whether it installed properly or not so you can come over here all programs and here come inside the ibm and inside the ibm you can see you have the profiles so it has created a dmgr and node profile over here and you if you want to create another profile you can use the profit uh, profile management tool and you can click here process center quick start where you can see all the links of different different consoles so the server is up and running okay stop the process center deployment environment if you want to stop it and let me see whether I am able to access these consoles or not. So yes, I am able to access these console process admin. Okay, similar way the process center as well. So the installation happened successfully. So this is the way we can install IBM BPM in Windows environment using the typical method. Thank you.